Energy. The debate on inflation is interesting, isn't it, Thermos, given that right now the readings showing inflation is dropping further and further below the Fed's 2% target. What are we going to learn from the minutes on that? Uh, I think they will discuss inflation quite a bit. I, um, we don't think it's uh, going to reach some kind of final conclusion around that, but I do think that what they've been arguing and they've been highlighting is that there are some components of that which are transitory, uh, and, and that will be a debate, but the conclusion is telegraphed. I think that the interesting bits that people will decipher will mostly be about the central market debate, which is do they pause in September, discuss, you know, announce the uh, balance sheet. Uh, uh, reduction, or do they uh, hike in September and push that for December? And you may get some hints uh, already in the middle. And, and, and depending on which one it lands on, what happens to the dollar? Well, that's a very difficult question. I think that the dollar has mainly been weakening when the curve has been flattening and has been strengthening as the curve steepened. Uh, so the earlier, uh, in theory, the earlier the uh, balance sheet and the later the hikes, the steeper the curve, in theory, right? And this is slightly stronger the dollar. Having said that, I think that our main forecast is that uh, they probably deliver one more hike. Uh, and then they uh, do the balance sheet towards the end of the year, which will probably talk about a roughly stable dollar in the next few months, but a flatter curve with higher front-end rates. Higher front-end rates, yeah, okay. And what, what would the conditions have to be in order for that to change then? When would tapering have to begin, for example? Um, so, um, I mean, the conditions, I think that when you talk about the drivers of this is that um, together with the, you know, slightly softer inflation numbers, you're seeing good growth and you're starting to see um, easing in financial conditions that has started since December and that may be driving the uh, policy decisions from the Fed. Uh, with respect to the balance sheet unwind, I think this is an issue for the last quarter, the December meeting potentially. Uh, and uh, when it comes to actual uh, hikes, uh, you know, will remain to be seen. Uh, our, we think that uh, you know an earlier hike around September is more likely. But most importantly, the, regardless of the timing of the hike, uh, the balance sheet unwind issue in our analysis is to a large extent in the price. What is not in the price is a reasonable pace of tightening over the next couple of years. Uh, and the Fed's confidence may actually force some repricing in terms of two-year rates to expect a slightly um, higher Fed funds path in the uh, you know, uh, 18 to 24 months ahead.